what's going on y'all today we'll be going through my reaction to some of the biggest cuts going into this regular season some of these biggest cuts down to making this 53 man roster uh i saw a few names just and i was just like wow this person got cut you know it's, i'm sure y'all had the same reaction to a lot of teams so we're gonna go ahead and uh run through this and uh if a person got signed let me know what team they got signed to i'm gonna either split this up into teams divisions conference or i'm gonna just do the video all together so we'll see when i post it but we're gonna get started i'm gonna start with the texans shaq lawson got traded to the jets i did not know that okay that's solid to pick up for the jets uh i feel like I, I actually wanted to keep shaq i'm curious why we traded him Kiki QT, that's a big cut, bro. He was our start, starting slot receiver last year. Uh, his rookie year, he was pretty solid. Uh, I think only thing that held him back probably was just injuries, but overall, a solid receiver. I, like, great depth. I don't know why we would cut him. I got to see. <clears throat> Y'all let me know why you cut him. If you know why, let me know, because that makes no sense, in my opinion. I got to see the rest of the roster, because... That, that, that just doesn't make sense to me buddy how he played pretty solid but we got too many running backs so that's kind of understandable alex erickson uh yeah solid returner but i, I still don't I, i'd have to see our receiving court to really understand that one i'm not sure texan signed joe thomas i wish that was joe thomas the, the left tackle all right so we got the transactions for the colts Tariq black curtis bolton the hell warring the colts picked him up and waved him what wasn't he with the Texans? John Davis. Oh wow. Brent Hundley, Bo Pete Keys, and Chris Wilcox both claimed off of waivers. Ah, I'm surprised Tampa Bay cut him. Wow. Okay. Okay. So they signed Brent Hundley, Sean Davis. So they signed other players to the practice squad, and then Kiki QT signed to the practice squad. Kiki, I think Kiki will make the roster for them. Yeah, he's a solid receiver. Like that's just it was, it was kind of confusing to me as to why the Texans cut him. Uh, why the Jaguars had to do theirs like this? Why can't they just group it all together? Okay, so let's go up. Dylan Moses placed on reserve. Let's see, Jalen Camp waived. Farrell Cooper released. Farrell actually played nice this preseason. Colin Johnson waived. What? Jeff Cotton waived. What? So what they receiving core looking like? Devin Smith released. Aquan Treadwell released. Philip Dorsett released. Jake Lutton waived. It's kind of surprising too. I feel like I, I thought they liked Jake. Hey, that's wild, bro. All right, so on the 31st, I think that was the last day, JV and Hawkins, is he a rookie? How did, how did they get him? Wasn't he on the uh, on the Titans? I mean, the Titans, the, uh, the Falcons? But they waved him. Y'all let me know if that's the same person. Be Calhoun. I thought he was solid. Mm. There's Fitzpatrick. What? Matt Barkley terminated. Uh, it's kind of surprising. Matt didn't play that bad, but I did like, uh, what's his name? Woodridge? I don't know. Number five, whatever his name was. I liked him though. I liked him better than Matt, so uh, kind of understandable. Oh, they, okay, so they signed Dez to the practice squad. Okay, I was about to say, that's kind of crazy, the fact that they waived him. Um, Okay, so that's understandable. And then they signed Matt Barkley to the practice squad too and terminated Brian Hill from injury reserve with the injury settlement. Wow, so I didn't even know Brian Hill was injured. And that's crazy too. I was remembering, like I remember thinking, it, it, it was it was something in my head like didn't the titans get another running back in free agency that was nice i just can't think of it because sergeant was playing good and there was another running back that they had that i think was playing pretty well like i just couldn't think in my head like bro this is another running back that i'm forgetting whole time it was brian hill brian hill nice though so another team get him i don't i'm not sure what the injury was i appreciate if y'all let me know but um i'm not sure what the injury was but he that's a nice running back like him and derrick henry would have been like, it would have been a nice duo but i get it he didn't play preseason so we don't know what to expect. We're going to go with what we know. So I get it. All right. We got the Denver Broncos. So we're going to jump into the AFC West. Uh, check out the Broncos transactions. Uh, agreed to acquire a fifth round, a fifth and seventh round pick in exchange for Trinity Benson. A wide receiver? I don't remember any receivers from the Lions just playing that good this preseason. So if he good like that, y'all let me know. Because that's kind of strange. He gave a fifth and a seventh. Acquired a linebacker Jonas Griffith from the 49ers. Okay. Waived Tyree Cleveland, Kendall 
Hinton. Okay, not too many surprising names that I see as far as whoa, Seth Williams. Whoa, I ain't gonna lie, I thought they were keeping me nice. Okay, and then boom, I see I look up sign Tyree Cleveland, Seth Williams, Kendall Hinton. Okay, so they got signed to the practice squad. Uh, okay, so I got I, I gotta be aware of that the possibility is, but I'm looking down so I spoil it for myself. You know what I mean? So some of these players did get signed. Seth, so I feel like Seth can make the roster. Um, we're gonna see waived Royce Freeman. It's kind of surprising, but mm, this is what it is. Uh, he's not a really a premier back for them. It's, it's gonna be, I guess, a lot, whole lot of Melvin Gordon this year. Whole lot of Melvin. I'm sure Melvin excited for it. he get all the touches. He uh he, he definitely I think he hit 1200. He stay healthy. He gonna hit at least 1200. He gonna have a pretty good year. We got the Raiders wave. BJ Emmons. I'm gonna assume they added him to the practice squad because he actually was kind of nice. Trey Regis, surprising, but I'm assuming the same same practice squad. Release John Brown. I heard that he asked to be released, so I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of surprising. But whoever we get him gonna be a good pickup. Release their carrier, Carl Joseph. What? Carl Joseph got released. Oh, I saw the Steelers picked him up. That's a good pickup for the Steelers. Acquired Denzel Perriman. So they signed BJ Emmons and Trey Regis to the practice squad. Signed their carrier. And Javin White placed on the injured reserve injured list. Hey, he got to stay healthy, man. He got to stay healthy. A lot of potential there. Y'all put me on to him, but I believe there's a lot of potential there. Okay, we got the Chargers. Uh, as far as waves, for me, I don't really see any names that really stick out to me personally. But uh, y'all let me know if uh, if it's somebody, you know, pretty good that got waved. But with them, at least, like I said, none of these names just stick out to me that much. Okay, we got the Chiefs. Oh, I didn't know they let go of Anthony Gordon. What? I didn't know they had. I forgot the, if, the, if, if I did, no, I forgot they had Antonio Callaway on the roster. Okay. Other than that, it, uh, I don't really see any names that really just stand out to me. Uh, it looks like they haven't made their practice squad signings yet, but I don't really see too many names that really stand out. It's like, oh, wow, they cut him. Oh, Derek Gore. Oh, what? I'm assuming he's going to make the practice squad because he played pretty nice this preseason. Darwin Thompson. Mm hmm. All right, yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think. All right, we move over to the Jets. Let's see. Um, nobody too really surprising. Maybe uh, Vincent Smith and uh, Noah Dawkins for me. Those are just like names that I'm familiar with. Uh, Lamar Jackson. So it's kind of surprising. But that's it. Uh, and as I look up what they see, it's signed running back Josh Adams. Signed Vincent Smith to the practice squad. Okay. And they signed Lamar Jackson. Okay, 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 okay. So I feel like the notable names that at least that I've been noticing with each team, they get signed to the practice squad. Bro, this dude, Cahill Warren, has been all over the place. Texans, Colts, and now the Bills. I could have sworn he got traded to the, to the, uh, what the heck? I could have sworn he got traded to the, uh, to the Patriots. That's wild. So, Texans traded him to the Patriots. Or oh, they claimed him off waivers. He got cut. Claimed off waivers by the Colts. Got released. Now he got picked up. So he's been on four teams in like, what, three days? Patriots let him go after a practice. That's crazy. Bills did not claim him off waivers. However, he is now in Buffalo via free agency. So as far as any cuts on the Bills, I say Steven Sims is probably... Uh, is, this, is this the same Steven Sims that was with the uh, Washington last year? If so, that's kind of surprising. Jake Fromm, mm, kind of not too really because their QB was playing nice. So, he, I, you know, it's not like they need him. Isaiah Hodgins, he's pretty solid, uh, but they got a lot of receivers, so understandable as well. And they signed Isaiah to the practice squad. All right, so let's see. We got the Dolphins. Mm. Okay, Malcolm Perry, that's a surprising name for me. Reed Sennett, the QB. Who? One on the Hail Mary? Come on, man. Senate under pressure, spins away from trouble. Pointing downfield and has got to let it fly to the end zone. That's actually kind of surprising. I thought they'd keep him. Garrett Dokes. Okay, Shaquem Griffin. There's some names here, but this is... 
Bernard McKinney, what? Patrick Laird. I'm assuming a lot of these players are going on the practice squad. Now, Bernard McKinney makes no sense to me. Uh, what? Maybe it was a contract. Maybe it was a contract. Either it was contract and they felt like he didn't live up to the contract or it just, they felt like they got players that's close to how good he is and it's a lot cheaper or they just feel like he don't fit the system well enough. It's something. That's wild. Landon Roberts and Jerome Baker would be the teams starting inside linebackers. Now, those two not scrubs, so it's understandable, but that's tough. Uh, who who needs an inside linebacker right now? I feel like he's he's good at run stop. <clears throat> I wouldn't I wouldn't really look at him like a, a I wouldn't really look at him like a huge coverage linebacker. So if you need you need somebody in coverage, eh, I don't I don't really look at him like that. I kind of look at him like you need, you need a run stopper. You got it. Maybe the Patrick the Patriots could pick him up. Pats that wouldn't be bad. Uh, Y'all let me know. Drop 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 some su suggestions down below. Uh, Matt Skura, kind of surprised. I mean, a lot of these players, I can see being on a practice squad. I'm not gonna lie. I guess released, they don't. They not. They wouldn't be on a practice squad, but waived probably. Yeah. So, but I can see some some of these players definitely. Okay, okay, okay. This is crazy. We got Cam Newton cut. Why? Why? You know, that's kind of strange. Like you could at least have him as a backup. Could have traded him. I guess they didn't want to deal with all of that. But that's kind of surprising to me. Cut Cam. Um, it's wild. Uh, released Miles Bryant. Adrian Colbert. Brian Hoyer. But I saw that they brought Brian Hoyer back, if I'm not mistaken. Diverging. And they signed Ryan Horry to the practice squad and Trey Nixon to the practice squad. <clears throat> Claim Malcolm Perry off of waivers. That's not a bad pickup. Um, I think he, I think Bill Belichick liked those type of versatile players. Um, it's not a bad pickup. That's a Bill Belichick type move. Cause he played quarterback in college and now he plays wide receiver. Definitely Bill Belichick type move. Kept Nikhil Harry on the roster. Kind of surprised. Kind of surprised. Stein Gary Gilbert. Surprising. Ben Mason. I think that's a good pickup. But the Gary Gilbert one actually is kind of surprising to me. I think what it was is that, you know, Cam has a big personality, big presence on social media. They they didn't want to deal with it if they were going to start Mac Jones. So let's have no distractions. So let's just release Cam. So maybe that's what I'm thinking. Because you can't tell me Gary Gilbert is better than Cam Newton. But I'm thinking that's just the logic behind it. Mac is going to start. Brian Hoyer to back up. And then you got Gary Gilbert as your third stringer. Brian Hoyer been in this situation. He's been in this game, been on this team before. It's really going to be nothing to him. But that's kind of what I think. All right, y'all. So we got the NF I said, AFC North next. So we're going to run we're gonna run through this. Uh, we got the Bengals first. Like I said, just going through the names that I kind of re recognize. Trent Taylor got terminated. He actually played pretty solid this preseason. So I'm kind of surprised. Wave Tony Brown. Trayvon Henderson, Michael Jordan, Eddie is Moss, Puka Williams. Puka didn't really play that much. At least Chris Evans just came out and stole the show, in my opinion. Uh, Travion Williams. Uh, uh, who was that? Uh, 31 and 32 was pretty nice. So I just keep Joe Mixon and Chris Evans in one of them. That's what I'm assuming. Jacquez Patrick. I think he, I think he was one of them. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's, a, it's some surprising names on here. Acquired White Ray from Tennessee and Nick McLeod from Buffalo. Whoa. Terminated the contract of Mike Thomas. Mike is going to be a good pickup for somebody. That's wild. Did he ask for that? Because that's, that's wild. He's nice. I'm not going to lie. Oh, resign Mike Thomas. Okay, I see that. Oh. Daddy is Moss. Trayvon Henderson. So a lot of these same names. Puka Williams, Trent Taylor, Travion Williams. 
Now these same names got added to the practice squad. So, okay, okay, okay. All right, we got the Steelers. Release Trey Edmonds. I'm assuming he made it to the practice squad. Jalen Samuels. Quincy Roche. Why did they release Quincy? Y'all let me know. That's that's wild. A lot, bro. A lot of these cuts is crazy. Like, this just... It seems it's some players are like, wow, man. Hunter Jordan Berry. Now, practice squad added Trey Edmonds. Okay, Jalen Samuels, Chaz Green, Steven Sims. Oh, good pickup for them. That's a good pickup. I like that. And Carl Joseph. Those, they got some good pickups. Those two I like, definitely. Okay, we got the Browns. Let's see, let's see. Kadero Hodge. That's going to be a good pickup for somebody. Quality depth receiver i'm not gonna lie bro um with the right work put in he could be a nice number three somewhere and if somebody want to invest into him i could see him being a number two if it really works out but it, I, I think there's a lot of potential there with him bro uh john kelly surprising but they had too many good running backs if i'm being honest bro too many a la letta red wine okay Sign John Kelly to the practice squad. Okay. Sign Nick Mullins to the practice squad. Oh my god, that's that's very surprising. Okay, we got the Ravens. They got Jawan James. I didn't know that. At least I, if, if I did, I forgot. Traded Ben Bredesen to the Giants. The Giants needed some linemen. Terminated contracts with Anthony Levine, Pernell McPhee. I'm assuming they re-signed some of these players because that's kind of wild already. Um Ben Mason, he got picked up by the Patriots. Tracy McSorley. Benjamin Victor and then re-signed for Nemic Fee. Added uh let's see, Trace McSorley to the practice squad, Benjamin Victor, Anthony Levine, Jordan Richards. All right, y'all. So that's it for the AFC. Um, I appreciate y'all for watching. Dropping NFC next, so y'all stay tuned for it. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned. Stay blessed. You done messed up, AA Ron! I don't care if you knew Patrick Mahomes. Them lies you telling won't get past me. If it's meant to be, I'm not gonna ask for a second chance. I'm only gonna ask you once after that, then it's out my hands. I'm not gonna question, just accept it, part of God's plan.